Yep, it's not. I hope we're facing straight up and down. If anyone wants to let me know if we are, that'd be great. All right, guys. I'm a little funky out here again. I'm gonna sit really close to you. Okay. Stop moving away from me. You keep touching me. I have to touch you, or else we don't fit in the square. You should move in more, because I'm I'm more in there. Than I already did move in, and then you moved away from me. Okay. Move. Move in! Okay, so we're good. Alright. <laughs> uh, fall, winter fragrances, guys. I'm super psyched. Um, we're only going to tell you our first sniffs of the brand new ones. And um, last spring's kind of got a little crazy. I was nine months pregnant, so sorry about how crazy that one was. We're going to try to behave this time. Okay. There, there are good ones in there. There were some good ones. Um, they were really good this year. Um, so, uh, we are going to smell these. We're not going to smell ones that are coming back, so I'm going to kind of move those out of the way. But the ones that are brand new, we are going to smell the crap out of. And we're going to tell you what we think. So, um, I'm going to read them off as I kind of sort here. Um, I'll read off the ones that are coming back as well. So I have Pink Currant and Birchwood. That's a new one. Uh, Candied Pomegranate is new. Autumn Sunset is old, not old, but has been here before. Honey Pear Cider, that's a re repeat. Snowberry's back. Uh, Eskimo Kiss is back. Christmas Cottage is back. We have Sweet Plum. Sweet Plum Pastry is a new one. Frosted White Birch is back. I have Iced Pine is back. Cozy Fireside is back. Cranberry Garland is new. Uh, crisp Orchard Air is new. Spiced Pear is new. Cozy Chai is new. Uh, cashmere Pear is returning. Autumn Sunrise is returning. We have Clove and Cinnamon coming back. Cinnamon Bear is coming back. Very Merry Cranberry is coming back. We've got Coconut Vanilla Orchid is new. Sparkling Black Plum is new. Whiteout is coming back. We've got Wild Red Berry and Sweet Melon, which is new. Pumpkin Marshmallow is back. Cider Mill is back. Marshmallow Mint is new. Everything Nice is coming back. Blackberry Orange Marmalade. Marmalade, Marmalade, Marmalade. 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 But I'm, I think real Lady Marmalade. Lady Marmalade. I don't know what that means. The same thing? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Peppermint Dreams is back. Somebody will be on my side. Winter Pine is back. You know that's my first love. Crazy Coconut's back. I mean, wait, no, JK. Crazy Coconut is new. I'm going nuts. Where did I throw it? Well. Oh, here it is. It's blue. Put it back. Don't touch. Um, apple butter frosting is back, but we will uh, read that again, or we'll smell that because I don't, I didn't do a first sniffs with that brick last year. Um, Silver bells is back. Uh, Autumn blaze maple is back. Katie Bennett's gonna be psyched. Uh, sticky cinnamon bun is back for fall and winter. Peppermint rush is new. Apple crush is new. Uh, rum raisin cookie. It's back. Rum raisin. Rum raisin. Peppermint roll is back. We've got Very Snowy Spruce is back. Cedar Cider is back. Uh, chocolate Coconut Cream is new. I'm psyched about that one. Salted Caramel Cupcake is back. And we've got Whipped Vanilla Pear is new. And Toffee Butter Crunch is returning from a scent of the month. So, uh, you know what's really, really silly? I finally have all new testers. They're all the Cincy logo except for two. Cider Mill and Sticky Cinnamon Bun have foiled my perfect collection. Why they, why they do that? Well, they just still had some left. Like they don't, they don't, uh. they're not wasteful. So if they still have some of the mini testers with the old logo on it, they're gonna mail them out. I dig you, Cincy. I see what you did there, being it's resource, vintage. Vintage being resourceful. Yeah, they're vintage. You all right, do so. This one first? 
Uh, yeah, we'll do apple butter frosting first. Are y'all ready for this? You go ahead first. I still got stuff. He still has rhythm, melody, and lyrics in his news. <sighs> apple butter frosting. This is good. It's very apple butter. It smells like um, basically the way you want your house to smell when you have company coming over. It smells like you've been baking all day. It smells like a gift shop. Like in Brown County, for reals. Mm -hmm. Like, that's probably the smell you were smelling, is that apple yeah. apple butter frosting. Yeah. It's like a Christmas, fall-time gift shop. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's delish. That's what it is. That's apple butter frosting. One of my favorites. Gift shop. Christmas time gift yep. shop. Yep. All right. So, next, let's do whipped vanilla pear. Whip it. Oh my gosh, this smells like, um, kind of like, uh, Simply Pear, or, yeah, Simply Nashi Pear. This smells a lot like that with a little vanilla. Ashley's gonna like that one. She loved Nashi Pear. Mm -hmm. This smells a lot like Laura Oliver's gonna like that one, too. Christmasy smell. This is good. I guess it could be. It's a really nice, like, vanilla pear. It's kind of like, it's like Christmas, but like right after Christmas is over. Yeah. I feel like. It's like that nice wintry lull of cleaning up and. Or between Halloween and Christmas. Or between Halloween and Christmas. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, this is cozy chai. This is good. I should read the scent descriptions. I'm going to open yeah, a catalog. It's a good idea. You can smell cozy chai. He's struggling. Stuff stuck in my nose. Here. I'm exercising that man's nose this evening. Okay. Somehow he married this. He knew what he was going getting into when he met me. I've not changed. I am equally as awkward now as I was 11 years ago. So, cozy chai is warm, spicy cinnamon, vanilla bean, and caramel. Um, this smells like a little bit of chai in there. It's kind of got like a spicy cinnamon, not cinnamon. Yeah. It smells a lot like the pear to me, still. Yeah. There's definitely chai in there, but it's... It goes with those other scents. It's, it's like very a... very cozy smell. Baked something. Smell. Baked goods. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't smell like chai to me, but oh, Tina's known me for a very long time. She says I haven't changed. <laughs> um, whipped vanilla pear scent description was a luxuriant. Is that a word? Caramel glaze tops baked pear and whipped vanilla. Luxuriant. And then um, the like toffee marmalade. butter There's marmalade. Not a word. Not a word. Marmalade. Real Lady Marmalade. Yes. Don't. I have to embarrass him or else I'm not. Toffee Butter Crunch. Salted Caramel Glaze. Candied Walnuts. Toffee and Vanilla Bean is the scent description of that one. So we're all caught up now, baby. All right. What's next? This baby. That was awkward. Apple Crush. Hi, Chelsea. Apple Crush. This is a really good apple scent for anyone who's missing our... Red candy, or red candy apple and apple press and stuff. It doesn't have the baked good smell that apple press does, but it's straight up apple. So you can mix oh, it. Yeah. You can mix it with any of those scents and make it a baked good oh, smell. Yeah. I like that one though. Straight up, just just apple. That's apple, like apple shampoo. It is apple shampoo. Has anyone ever used that suave apple shampoo? Mm -hmm. This is suave apple shampoo. Blink one eight two. That's probably apple why it's shampoo. a kids one because it reminds one. us of being a kid. Because it smells like the stuff I used That's on my good. hair as a kid. Good stuff. But this is one of the kids' uh, scents. Apple Crush. Alright, Spiced Pear. The scent description of this is simmered pear and plum cider entice a rich vanilla wood. Hmm. My meals are too long to make it warm. Gotta smell something neutral. Here you go. Smell your skin. Smell some paper. Put your head in a plastic bag. I 
I can't really figure this one out. Kip can either. Okay, so like cinnamon bear is like cinnamon. Like just cinnamon. Is it just cinnamon? Okay, so there's apple cinnamon, right? You can get like apple cinnamon. Smell. Baked apple pie. Baked apple pie, maybe. Vanilla cinnamon. This no, is okay. like a big pear pie or whatever. It's Except like without the, pie, but without the pie part. It's just uh, cinnamon pear. It is just cinnamon pear, but... Spiced pear. It's supposed to have kind of a vanilla wood undertone. Do you smell yeah. the vanilla wood? Yeah. I smell the vanilla wood more. It's a cleaner... Not, it is like a clean... Not... not it's like a clean spice. Smell. Like, it's interesting. It's like a clean spice. I really like it, though. I like that, too. I like that, too. I like that a lot. I'm not a huge fan of it. Like, our faces didn't show it, but we really did like it. Uh, crazy coconut. This is a kid's scent. This is from the children's line. Just coconut. It smells yeah. like a pina colada. Yeah. Not very strong. Which is good for the kid's line. All right. Pink currant and birch wood. I was really excited about this one. Smell the box or something. Why are you having issues? I put a smell your own skin. You can do that, too. Woo! Interesting. This smells exactly like the scent that I've been dying for Scentsy to have from, uh, like, Pottery Barn kind of has this current scent. It doesn't smell like this, but it's good enough. This is better, actually. It's got a little bit more to it. Oh, I love this. I love the smell of current. This is officially our new Christmas smell. But it's pink, current, and birch wood. Pink currant jam, frosted holly, and cassia bark. Isn't that good? I do like that. Yeah. It's that's like a really, really... Um, Pottery Barn slash... Um, uh, Cape Barrel? No. No. What's the other place where you used to get stuff before you sold Scentsy? Anthropology? Anthropology. Yeah. A little Anthropology thrown in there. Like when you walk in the front doors of Anthropology... Oh, kind of Frida, like this is good. It's good. It's not baked. It's not. This is really good. Like it's, it's not, so good, I want to go flip this over in a warmer and warm it's not it. Pear or or apples. Woo! This is good. I'm gonna have an awkward moment with this one. I really like this one. Pink currant jam, frosted holly, and cassia bark is pink currant and birch wood. All right, next, let's go here. This is marshmallow mint. yum this is a lot like peppermint dreams just a little sweeter it's got a little more of that fluffy marshmallowy but it smells a lot like peppermint yeah. dreams mm -hmm. kind of smells like one of those big butter mints yeah like peppermint dreams except softer it's got the sugar smell on there mm -hmm. hence the marshmallow it smells exactly like marshmallow mint. Like exactly yeah, like... It's like what it says. It's exactly that. Like I can't even describe it differently than what it is. Oh, it says there's some amber underneath. I don't want to know what amber smells like. It's useless. Candied pomegranate. This is cinnamon sprinkled pomegranate and a candied apple. I don't smell any cinnamon. I just kind of smell the pomegranate and apple. I'm guessing the cinnamon comes out when you warm it. I do like this one. That's good. It's a very soft fruit. It's not like, it's not fruity. It's not like a sugary fruity. Probably because it's not overdone like pear and apple a little bit. This is re it's really you good can though. Get carried away a little bit. But yeah, candied pomegranate. It's pretty good. Next we've got coconut vanilla orchid. I'm not sure about this one. I'm not a big orchid fan. Orange zest, coconut milk, silky vanilla orchid. Mm. It smells good for people who like these kind of smells. I'm not a huge fan. It's a very feminine scent. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a lot of our skin line scents. Yeah. Is it Bath and Body Works or whatever? Mm. I don't know. It smells kind of like their orchid stuff. Yeah. People are going to love this one. I'm just saying. It's one that I think we're going to sell a lot of. It's good. 
Or... I always know which ones will sell the most because they're usually ones that Kip and I are kind of like, yeah, those smell good, but we probably wouldn't warm them. We really like earthy, woodsy, spicy smells. Mm -hmm. uh, sweet plum pastry. The thing says, flat, black plum and toasted coconut garnish a marshmallow cloud. I always wanted to know what marshmallow clouds smell like. Oh, this makes me really, really excited. This smells like something from my childhood, and I wish I knew what it was. It smells like something from my childhood. Old man pockets? Old man pockets. Mm. Old man pockets. Sweet plum pastry. Okay, this one smells a little leathery. Where are you getting leather from? I don't smell leather. He's wrong. They're talking about right, something. Read the description. No. Mm. 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 It says mm. black plumbing, toasted coconut, and marshmallows. Mm. Okay. They're the ones talking about leather. Yeah, but now I smell leather in this. It's because you've read the word leather. No. And there's no leather in this. No. Don't listen to him. He's wrong on this one. No. Yeah. He's wrong. It's like plum leather. Uh, why do I smell leather now? Cause it smells like leather. I can uh, okay. He's allowed to scent description again because there is a little leather undertone for some reason on that one. All right, crisp orchard air. I love this one. This one smells a little bit more like Hemingway to me. I smell the serenity. Did you pronounce that crisp orchard air? I'm having a hard time with the word orchard. I keep wanting to say orchid, and so I keep saying orchid. Or <laughs> now I'm gonna mispronounce it. This one I smelled at Reunion and I loved it. It kind of smells like Hemingway, but a little manlier. Mmm. Mmm. And you know how much I love Hemingway. Let's see if that's still right. Yep. You'll love this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's really good, isn't that is it? It is really good. That's really good. The, the, the description ah. on that one is quince jam, cream apple, and sandalwood. It's the sandalwood that we love. Yeah, I love sandalwood, but, uh... That's really good. No way to describe this one. It's just delicious. Buy it. It's just good. Crisp orchard air. I said orchard correctly. He called it orchard again. No, I said orchard. Orchard. Everybody can vouch for me. He's just making fun of me. Where can I show you this? Nope, doesn't work. All right, get up. Done. It's really good, though. We take a lot of time. We like to really savor our fragrances. Especially the good ones. The really good ones, yep. This one is Sparkling Black Plum. It says... Taraco. I don't know what that is. Orange, Black Plum, and Blueberry Champagne. This is good for a fruit smell. It, it reminds me a lot of Country Plum, and I love Country Plum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we really like Country Plum, because it came out... Right around Eliza's yeah. being born. Good memories. Mm -hmm. So that's the scent we have in her room all the time. It smells like sparkling plum. Yeah. So this light, smells a little bit a more of like plum. a not as Christmassy plum. Not as earthy plum. It's like country plum, but maybe with a little Christmassy to it. Okay, we got five left. This is chocolate coconut cream. For being a food scent, I really like this one. I smelled this in the full bar at Reunion. It smells like the chocolate uh, strawberry shortcake dolls. Mm. That's actually really good for like a food smell. Yeah. You can smell it the chocolate, like a... which is probably the first time I've smelled a really good chocolate scent. If you take a really deep breath of it. Kind of Tootsie Roll. It smell... Yeah, Tootsie Roll um, brownie batter. batter brownie smell. batter. This is really delicious, though. It's good. Mm, yeah, cho chocolate coconut cream. Pretty awesome. Brittany Swackhammer is going to love that one. Um, this is wild red berry and sweet melon. Mmm. What's this one called again? Wild red berry and sweet melon. It's melon, red berries, and amber. It's like a grown up fruity smell. Yeah. It's really neat. <sighs> okay. It's not as strong as other ones. When we say that, though, that doesn't mean anything bad. 
We it's, like a mixture it's of not kind of lightweight scents, and he doesn't mean much. like it's not strong, like you won't be able to smell it. He just means like it's not offensive, if that makes yeah. sense. This is a uh, really pleasant though. I like it. I like it for being a fruit smell. Wild red berry and sweet girly. melon. It's Definitely not one girly. I would have thought I was gonna like. It's pleasant though. Yeah, it's, it is really pleasant. It doesn't kill the nostrils. It's very, very lightweight and delicious. Okay, this one is. There's a boy. Why is he not asleep yet? Because he's, he can hear us. Little one woke up, so speaking of orcs, one of the new warmers looks like a rock an orc would throw. Is it the, um, which one is it? Is it the bronze? I don't remember. I'm going to wait on that, on that dude. Oh! Sorry, guys, I'm sleepy. We drove from Pennsylvania today, eight hours. Little one was awesome the whole time, though. She slept for a little bit of it, but she was awake and just playing with her toys most of it. <coughs> Bless me. All right. This one is Cranberry Garland. I'm excited about that one. We're going to save Cranberry Garland for last. Um, so we have Blackberry Orange Marmalade, Marmalade, and Peppermint Rush. So oh, I'm going to yeah. do Peppermint Rush second to last. We're going to do Blackberry Orange Marmalade. This one is described as orange marmalade and blackberry jam over sugar. This is not a, like a super pungent one either. It's really fresh. <clears throat> it smells a lot like, uh, what did we have warming in, in Liza's room? Country plum. Country plum, but... Lighter. Country plum, but lighter. What are you laughing at? I said, I sneezed and said, bless me. And Chelsea says, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Peppermint rush. <laughs> Ooh, this is good. It smells like peppermint candies. 100%. Yep. That is real good. Okay, so. It's probably the most candy cane smell we've had ever. Mm -hmm. It is a candy cane. Straight up. Peppermint Rush. Yep. It's really good. Candy cane. Peppermint. That's what it smells so like. I like Peppermint Dreams, but it's not quite like this. But it's but not. It's, no, this is a different kind of peppermint than Peppermint Dreams. It's really cool. It's good. I really like good that. peppermint. It's soft. <sighs> Alright, this last one I'm super excited about. This is Cranberry Garland. Sweet tart cranberry surrounded by sage and pine cones. Oh, yeah. It's everything I wanted it to be. This smells like the granddaddy of all Christmas. That with the pink currant is going to be really good the this year. The granddaddy of all Christmas. It's not like peppermint dreams mm. to me. Not at all. Mm. Isn't that good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is really good. It's cranberry garland. It smells exactly oh. like Christmas. It smells like Christmas... In the early 90s. Not fake Christmas. That was good Christmas. Isn't that good? Yeah. Super psyched. It smells like a Christmas wreath. It does smell like a fresh Christmas wreath. With. I feel like I'm just department store like shopping. With cinnamon sticks in it and uh, I guess Cranberry. cranberries in it as well. But You can smell like there's like holly. There's a, there's a fruity, nutty. Oh, this is good. This Spicy smells like smell. Christmas. Yeah. This smells like the entire season of Christmas in one fragrance. That's good. I. This is all of your Christmas memories all in one. Last Christmas I had to warm a bunch of different bars at the same time to get the right mix to make it This smell. is the mix. This is, then don't I, have to warm anything else with this if you don't you want. You could burn through a lot. Oh yeah, Katie. Wait, I li I, Christmas Cottage is okay, but I'm not really... Uh, Christmas Cottage is really good. I like Christmas Cottage, so but is, uh, I'm really into like a green... Holly, yeah, I like wreaths and holly and things that just have that Christmas smell to them. So, enjoy. I'm obsessed. Cranberry Garland's going to be amazing. All right, guys, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.